Hi, I'm City Manager Jamie Verbrugge. Today on the Verbrugge View, I'm going to learn how to drive a fire truck, and you get to ride along. Good morning. Good morning. We are here with our Assistant Fire Chief, Laura McCarthy, and up on the front of the truck will be Assistant Fire Chief Jay Forster. They're going to give me the lesson today how I'm going to drive what we call our tiller truck. A lot of people would refer to this as a hook and ladder. Uh, ever since I was a kid, I know that this is the one thing that I'd really like to do. Uh, and I imagine you probably thought that way as a kid too, didn't you, Laura? Not actually as a kid, but when I joined the department, this is one of the first things I got to do. So tell me a little bit about the piece of apparatus that we have here before I learn how to drive it. Well, what we have here is Ladder 5 is its designation, and it is a hook and ladder tractor tiller tractor that we uh, put into service in 1999. As you can see, it's a very long truck, so because of that, it takes a couple people to go and actually drive, steer, and maneuver it. So we got about 40 feet between the driver's cab and the tiller and back, correct? That is correct. We really need this piece of equipment not only to bring the firefighters to the scene, but the big thing is its maneuverability, which right. you're gonna have an opportunity to discover today as we go around through the uh, the training course here at Western Maintenance. So a couple of things that I've learned about with this truck. Uh, first of all, we have three, right? We have uh, two that are newer and one that's quite a bit older. Correct. Uh, but that's because Bloomington has uh, a number of large buildings. The ladder can go 100 feet up in the air, uh, and we have a, a number of buildings that go even higher than that, so it's important to have this kind of apparatus. Uh, the other thing that's interesting is that this truck can actually drive into the Mall of America and into the area of Nickelodeon Universe so that it can get up to the very top of some of the rides there to provide aerial rescue if that's necessary. So it's an interesting design feature inside the Mall of America. You tell me what I need to learn before I climb up into the seat there. The goal is not to hit anything. So we are trying to go and steer away from the object. It's going to seem very, um, very odd at first, okay. being the reason that if the driver has taken a left turn, they're going to turn the wheel left. You're actually going to be doing the opposite because, again, we're trying to steer away from the So I have to the use objects. the other side of my brain is what you're telling me. That is what I'm telling you, and that can be confusing. When I first started, um, people would always tell me, think of it as an outboard uh, uh, motor on a boat. Right and how you steer it and you always kind of push it this way to go that way and a little backwards. Let's hop up sure. here and you uh, give me a little walk through about what we're going to do. I'll do that. I'll All hop right. up on the other side there. Got the seat belt over your left shoulder there where you can go and lock yourself in. You'll see there if you push the horn, which is right in the center, just like a car horn, um, once the truck is on, it'll activate. You can tell the driver it, when to go. So you acknowledge and say, I'm ready to go. You hit the horn twice. Okay. The driver will go and reciprocate and say, okay, understand, we're ready to go. We do have the heater running. That's one thing that uh, is an improvement, shall we say. Um, when I first started and the first la hook and ladder that I drove didn't have a cab, you were actually sitting on a old bar stool no kidding. on a seat right on the uh, ladder bed itself and then you were strapped in with an airplane seat belt uh, that just went around your waist and that's what held you in. So uh, during a winter uh, event where you have uh, maybe some snow or sleet, that couldn't have been a very positive experience. It was not a positive experience at all. Actually lightning storms were a little bit scary back really? there because you're sitting on a bunch of metal. metal. Mm -hmm. and the seat cushion is sitting on a metal platform, so everything around you was metal. Wow. And also, too, you know, fires, you get wet, now it's 20 below, and it's your job to till back. Oh. There's many times that, uh, you know, your gloves freeze to the steering wheel, so it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's live and learn life lessons type of thing. So this it's is a good. definite improvement over this the way things a, used to be. Definite improvement, having a heater, I mean, they, these are mod cons that we didn't have back, you know, 27 years ago. Got it. All right, let's do it. All right. All right, I have engaged the transmission. Perfect. Once you I've move responded. forward, you can do that. Great. All right, we are rolling, and I am driving a tiller truck. All right, he's going to be nice to you to start with, right. so we're going to make wide turns. All right, we are turning right, so that means I want to turn left. That is correct, if necessary. If necessary. So, again, he's doing a nice wide turn, but to get a feel fit, 
go ahead and turn towards the left. Yep, there we go. And I've gone about a quarter turn to make it. As soon it as you're the halfway corner, through the turn, you start can start to center turning up. back. All right. Absolutely. Now it's a good thing that Jay is a nice calm driver. I don't know what I'd do if we we're yep. flying now down this old shock. It's gonna be a little road. bit more difficult because we're gonna have objects on either side. Sure. You're gonna have to turn a little bit to the right, a little bit more, okay. avoid the curve. Start straightening back out. Again, that recovery. Yeah, this is counterintuitive. So the real it challenge is. is to think I I need to go away from the obstacles in front of me. All right, I've got a mailbox I'm trying to avoid. Yep. This darn mailbox was trying to get me when I was out here in the snowplow too. So I gotta try not to hit that Probably. again. All right, we're going right now around the corner. So I'm gonna start to turn left. Excellent. Once you're through the uh, obstacle, then you go and correct and get yourself back. So excellent. Now we do have mirrors over on the side, so I can that check out my positioning as well. I am blocking well. yours, so that's And I be... do want to note, for the purpose of our risk manager's concern, that you are strapped in. We don't have you just hanging off the side of I the am vehicle strapped right in now. with the appropriate harness, so <laughs> that is correct. Now this one is going so to require some avoid. more turning. So now we can anticipate he's going to go around this mound, so we can start swinging to the right, actually and prepare ourselves for that. There you go, Again, you don't want to go too far, but steer away All right. a little bit more. So I can see it down there. I can see what's and happening down clear, below me. Then you're going to want there to go. go ahead and recover All and right. get yourself turning to the left again. Well, this has been an experience that uh, I was anticipating would be challenging, and I was right, in part because it, it takes a little bit of work to figure out the turning away from uh, the cab direction, and also because uh, Assistant Chief Forster was also uh, challenging me a little bit by increasing the speed and, and uh, narrowing up some of the turning uh, uh, radius. So it was a good challenging experience, and uh, it's one that I'm going to remember for a long time. So any kids out there that are aspiring to be firefighters, uh, this is one of the things that you might get to do if you uh, decide to join the Bloomington Fire Department. They're always taking applications, and you can serve your community. It's a unique way to do it. So uh, from our Western Maintenance Facility, and on behalf of the Bloomington Fire Department with uh, uh, Assistant Chief McCarthy and Forrester, uh, thanks to them for giving me this opportunity. We'll see you next time on the Verbrugge Video.